I never thought we'd be getting concept art as actual figures, but here we are. This is Studio Series Bumble Movie Concept Art Rumble. This is one of two of the officially released figures, including Megatron, which I'll be getting, and also not counting that Sunstreaker that got leaked. Uh, it's wild to me that we're getting figures from a movie, movie that came out six -ish years ago, while well, like all the Baver stuff is very much slowing down. Anyway, before we get to the unboxing, why don't you subscribe? Helps me out a lot, and let me know if you're going to get any of these concept art figures. Anyway, let's get ready to rumble. Now we have Rumble over here. We can get a better look at him and look at the packaging real quick. I have, I love the like blueprint design they got going up here. Like the, the whole blueprint thing is really cool because he's like a concept art uh, figure, which is cool. I'm glad they're really doing more stuff for studio series, like from the Bumblebee movie, because I love that aesthetic. I love that design a lot. I think it's really cool. It's very G1, but also like modern-ish like what would they really look like i really like that but like even on the side here we got him like up there and he's like got the blueprint right down there which is fine the back is just him in his ball form and what he looks like as his robot bone movie which is really funny because this movie is like five years old now and they're still making toys for it that's fine though but uh that's pretty much it for the packaging him on the side there him there open window right there so no plastic but let's get him all freed out so like I said in my Tasmania Kid video, I really don't collect core stuff that often. It doesn't really like appeal to me that much, unless it's like an accessory or like clearly a character that should be core size. But this really struck me, like the concept series really struck me. Um, I do have the Megatron coming at some point, which I do plan on getting, hopefully sometime soon. So I got pushed back and then I got pushed back up again. So we're gonna see about that. But let's... Yeah, look at that. There he is. Tiny. Got two little guns right down there. That looks really good. That looks really good. He's got the backing of Cyrus it looks like. Looks like he's got Bumblebee down there, which is really good looking. But yeah, let's get him snipped out real quick. And then we'll take a look of uh, everything on him. Let's go. So this is everything that comes in the box with uh, Rumble. Uh, I got the instruction sheet, which is fine. Rumble himself. And then you got the two little, two these two little guns that come with him. These are literally, he has no way to hold them at all. He's got no hand, he has no proper hands. Like he's got kind of molded in hands, but it's mostly the pile drivers. These are just meant to sit on the back here. And I'm sure other, uh, I think Soundwave can hold these. I think I saw something that Soundwave can hold these. But these are literally on here for the ability to recreate that silhouette with the, his two guns. Stand, uh, sitting behind him okay the truck is out of the way but yeah no he looks like yeah no, he looks he looks good looks like rumble um i like the blue i like the baby blue he's got a lot of like gold accents painted in here like the little reds painted in here the gold right there all of this is painted not a lot going on the back because it's the back um but yeah he can do the pile driver thing kind of kind of i've been messing with it a little bit you can kind of do it um, he has no articulations outside of this for his shoulder, and this can move. So he has no elbows or anything. His knees are super good. Like, obviously, he can do that and everything else. Um, he does have a little Decepticon insignia. Um, he does have a little Decepticon insignia on the bottom there. That looks fine. I don't know. It's upside down for some reason. I'm not sure why. I have not put him in his, like, little, like, box mode yet, so I really don't know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for Rumble. He really can't do a whole lot. Um... He fits the aesthetic really well, I think, with Studio Series Bumblebee. He looks the part. He's a G1 character, but, like, more uh, like more realistic is what I want to say. So I'm going to do that. Just kind of messing with him. Um, but let's get him in that weird box tape thing that also Ravage turned into so we can fit in Sunway's chest. But, yeah, let's get him into that box thing. So now we have Rumble transformed into his box mode thing. Um, transformation was fun. And the guns are actually necessary to plug in the legs. Because the guns are right there. And they're used to keep the legs together. Which is fine. But that's just that's just Rumble. He's just hanging out. He's just being a cube. That, there's not, you literally cannot do anything with, with this. Unless put him inside his chest. Like, he's just a cube. Um... But I did grab some comparisons. So let's grab the 
comparisons I have to show off with him real quick. So comparisons, of course I grabbed Ravage. This is how they look together. Um, Ravage looks a little better because you, really, you can't really tell it's a guy laying down. But they're both kind of just slugs, kind of just things. But yeah, that's how it looks up with uh, Studio Series Ravage. And because I cocked on earlier, here is with Studio Series 86 Rumble. So that's how they look together. And yeah, at least you can tell this is a tape. This is just a block. This is nothing. I know I'm being harsh on this, but like they couldn't put a little tank treads or anything on this, make a little thing, but it's okay. That's him. Those are the two Studio Series Rumbles together. So that looks pretty good. So let's see him in Soundwave's chest, shall we? Let's go to that. So here I have Studio Series Bumblebee uh, Soundwave, which this figure is, this figure's so good. This is a figure so good, but you can just pop this open and then he should just fit inside. Should just fit inside. A little tight, but yeah, he can fit inside the chest. That's that's all that's all I can do, and then he can eject it, which looks that looks okay. He's like the same color blue, so it's like he kind of blends in in there. But that's what he looks like with that in there. That doesn't look bad though. He just yeah. Since I did it in row, uh, alt mode, I want to do in bot mode too. The same persons. So there is 86 Studio Series Rumble. If you can stand up, if I can get him to stand up. So this 86 Studio Series Rumble is what they look like together. Um, the Bumblebee one is obviously a darker blue, and this one's more like the animation accuracy. That looks fine. They both look like a rumble, so that's fine with me. But let's go on to Ravage. So here he is with Ravage, and aesthetically they look pretty good together. They look how they should. Uh, I think the head on Rumble is a little bit too simplified how like for how complex uh, Ravage's looked. But yeah, like aesthetically they look good together, so no complaining about that. And there is a sound wave, and... All three look really good together. Like, I can't complain. Like, they look like they should belong together, and they look like a decent team together. I, I do enjoy that. But that's all I got to say right now. Let's go some final thoughts on Rumble and uh, talk about it. Let's go. Overall for Studio Series, Bumblebee, Concept, Art, Decepticon, Rumble, because I read that all at the instructions. Uh, he's all right. He, I got him because I like Soundwave and I like the Minions. Anybody else could probably skip him, especially if you do not have the sound wave. It's kind of a nothing. Um, even with Ravage, he doesn't look like he completes the look, if you know what I mean. But if you have sound wave and all three of them, it looks really good together. But, like, he's kind of a dude, and he's kind of a blue dude. That's all I really can say about him. Um, but, yeah, that's all I can say about Studio Series Rumble. Uh, if you liked the video, hey, subscribe. Helps me a lot. Helps me out a lot, actually. Um, and then let me know. Will we be getting this rumble? Will we be skipping this rumble? I would love to know. Uh, but until next time, next video, I will see you guys.